discussing Mother's place at the table. Mother's place? I've been sitting here for breakfast ever since we've been married. Oh, I know, but this is Mother's Day. Look, I'm no quiz kid, but Mother's Day is the second Sunday in May. Uh, and what is this? This is Mother's Day to entertain. Oh, just uh, what, again? Oh, you don't understand. This isn't one of her bridge parties. This is a meeting of her women's club. And we're going to discuss problems of vital importance to this community. Well, you should be proud to have a member of your household who has the influence to bring such a club into our home. Our home? It's more like your home. Oh. <coughs> Look, could I get a little breakfast, please? Well, if you expect to get any breakfast in our house this morning, you'll get it at the drugstore. Oh, now, Eddie, you won't mind eating out this one morning with you. You can see we're so busy, and, and I'll fix you a nice dinner with your favorite dessert, prunes. Now, won't that be something to come home to? Yeah, that's something to come home to. Prunes and politics. <laughs> oh, good morning, Ed. Say, aren't you late to work this morning? You better be careful. You'll get fired someday. Then you won't be able to eat anymore. Is that what you're worried about? Oh, Eddie, how you talk. It sounds as though he begrudges the little food your brother eats. Oh, Eddie was only kidding. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but could I have a plate of that? Oh, you haven't got time, dear. I'll get your hat. Yeah, it takes time to cook sweetbreads like this, doesn't it, Ma? Sure does. Why didn't uh, brother eat breakfast at the drugstore? You know you stopped his charge account. That was because he wouldn't work. Well, that's your fault. When they asked for references two years ago, you said that brother was weak-kneed and weak-minded. That still goes. Oh. Here, Ed, smell those. Aren't they good? Mmm, those are... Oh, oh Ed, are you big brute, you? Oh, man. There goes my sweet friend. Oh, oh. oh. back in figure. I bring him right on in. Yeah. I said, bring him in. No, no, not you. Oh. Hi, Ed. Oh, hello, Joe. Hello, Tinker. Hi. We just came over from the businessman's club to tell you that you're going to be our candidate for our county supervisor. Supervisor? Yeah. Tinker here is going to be your campaign manager. Did you hear that, Miss Marlowe? I'm to be a candidate. Is that good? Are you kidding? Oh, I should say it is good. It's a position of honor and responsibility. Uh, gentlemen, you, you overwhelm me. I, I hardly know what to say. You don't have to. Here's the speech. All you have to do is try and memorize oh, it. Oh, try and memorize it. Hello, citizen. Here, here. I stand before you with the fullest realization of the grave responsibility. You don't have to read the speech to me. I wrote it. Oh, you wrote it? Well, then you ought to know it. Backwards. You know, this calls for some sort of a celebration. You said it. Let's celebrate. I don't know what for. We've put up a candidate every year for the last 10 years, and no one was ever elected. Look. But this time it'll be different. With some of my ideas, you can't lose. Says you. Come on, Barker. I'll see you tonight. So long, Sue. Uh, fellow citizens, I stand before you with the fullest realization of the grave responsibility. Oh, uh, by the way, Miss Marlowe, if any uh, newspaper reporters or photographers want to see me, I'll be here this evening. Yes, Mr. Supervisor. Mr. Supervisor. It's high time that we women have full equality with men. Political and industrial, as well as social. If the men won't give us our rights, we'll take them. That's right. <laughs> and so, ladies of the Women's Club, I give you our candidate for county supervisor. Mrs. Eloise Birdella Farley. Mrs. Farley. <laughs> oh, ladies, I do appreciate the compliment that you have paid me, but I'm wondering if I'll have the time to devote to it. Oh, Mother, of course you'll have the time. Remember, I need a job. Now, of course, if you can't accept... Oh, but, but I... she is accepting. And if I have anything to say about it, she's going to be the first woman supervisor of this county. Oh, oh well, 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 well,
Oh, brother! <laughs> Pretty? Yeah. What have you been up to? Oh, I'll tell you after election. Election? Yeah. I'm a candidate for supervisor. <laughs> Where's Polly? Uh, she's in the living room. Right. Hey, you're going to run for supervisor? That's right. Won't Polly be surprised? You bet. <laughs> you're a partner. Hello, oh, darling. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I am. For you. Oh, <laughs> and how are all the ladies of the women's club today? Oh, fine, Mr. Kennedy. That's you. fine. I'm certainly glad to see you all here. Because I have a rather important announcement to make. You see... Uh, we have something important to say to you, too, Edgar. Yes, dear. Well, just wait until I finish, will you? The reporters are here. The reporters? Oh, well, uh, show them in. I didn't expect them here quite so soon. Good afternoon, ladies. We're from the Tribune. Oh, uh, we were expecting oh. you. I suppose that you gentlemen are here to interview the candidate for supervisor? That's right. Well, uh, I hardly know, know what, what to say. say. <clears throat> Mother, if you don't mind, I'll make the statement. Ah, uh, wait a minute, I've got it written down here. Fellow citizens, I stand before you with the fullest realization of the grave responsibility that has been placed upon my shoulder. Wait a minute, please. Who is the candidate here? I, I am. You? you? What are you talking about? The Women's Club has just nominated Mother as their candidate for supervisor. Oh, oh, Polly, they can't do this to me. The Businessmen's Club has nominated me as their candidate. Oh, dear. Now what are we going to do? Oh, I know what we'll do. Gentlemen, I hereby announce the withdrawal of my mother-in-law. Wait a minute. I'll do my own announcing. What? Gentlemen, I hereby announce my son-in-law's withdrawal. I second the motion. Well, who is this gentleman? Oh, he's my campaign manager. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, you must appreciate my position. I don't want my mother-in-law to be the laughing stock of the community. Oh, Mr. Oh, Kennedy, oh, are you insinuating that the women's club is something to be laughed at? My dear Mrs. Campbell, I'm not insinuating anything. Club work is no doubt a necessary evil for women. Oh, when they go into politics, it's ridiculous. Indeed, oh, please, remember these ladies are our guests. Oh, I'm sorry. Just consider the whole matter settled. It certainly is not settled. The voters must realize that it takes brains to run an office. Oh, well, well that that lady? Lady? These women have no brains. Well, we well, show him. You go on, Get this, Jack. Oh, ladies, ladies. Well, uh, gentlemen, you can say I definitely am a candidate. Come on, Jack, we'll make the final edition. Kennedy says women brainless. Near riot as women's club nominates his mother-in-law, Mrs. Farley. Imagine making a crack like that about women. You can slap them in the face and they'll still love you. But there's two things you can't do. You can't tell them they're getting fat and you can't tell them they've got no brains. You're lucky you didn't wind up in the hospital. I'm just starting to fight, Tinker. I'll make my mother-in-law so sorry she got into politics that she'd be glad to give up this race. Boy, you sure know all there is to know about women. Well, I'll tell you a few things that I do know. She's addressing a meeting of the Allied Women's Club in this building here tonight. And the first thing I'm going to do is to break up that meeting. Yeah? How do you expect to do that? Come here and I'll show you. Take a look at those. Why didn't you get some squirrels? They'd go for a guy like you. Oh, what do you mean? Come on, let's go. Not me. I'll stay here and answer the phone while you're out. All right. Then I'll play the lone wolf. You mean the lone rat. Huh? Yeah. What are you up to now? <clears throat> well, I just took the canary bird out for a walk and it got out and flew right in there. Oh, yeah? Why, what is the viewer business anyhow? 
Well, I gotta be going, Ralph. What's the trouble, Polly? <laughs> a lot of rats are running around in there. Yeah, there's one running around out here, too. I caught him with the door of his cage open, didn't I, Baldy? Oh, <laughs> so it was you, Edgar. I might have known you'd stoop to a trick like that. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Mother. There isn't a rat in this whole building. Rats, rats, that's all I hear everybody say. <laughs> oh, 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 rats, rats, take them off all my head. Well, so far, you're going great. Wait till your brother-in-law gives the newspapers this story. Kennedy uses rats in campaign. Hey, but Tinker, I got another idea. Where do you get them? Oh, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to disappear. That's the best idea you've had mm -hmm. yet. And don't come back for a long time. Oh, but you don't get it. I mean, I'm going to disappear for a few days. You're going to blame my in-laws for putting me out of the way. <laughs> See what'll happen? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Mother-in-law would be out of the race completely. Uh -huh. I can see it in the headlines now. Candidate for supervisor disappears. Okay, brother. I got 35 cents in my left pocket and the five spot I held out on my wife in the right. Take it, but don't shoot. Anybody around? It's you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. Kennedy gone five days. <whistles> my scheme certainly worked, didn't it? I'll admit you're getting plenty of publicity, but how are you going to wind it up? I got that all figured out. We stage the blow off tonight. I'll sneak home and get into the living room closet. Now I'll be all bound and gagged. I'll be weak and safe. You get the reporters. Bring them there to question mother-in-law. I'll come out while they're there and yell and scream and that's it. You tell them your mother-in-law did it, huh? Sure. Well, come on. We haven't got much time. We've got to get going. What are you people doing here? Why, this is our home. Huh. A likely story. Where does Mr. Kennedy live? Why, he lives here. Aha! Trying to mislead me, eh? What do you want with Mr. Kennedy? I have some rats for you. Oh, rats! You see that one in the corner there? That's Thorndike. The one with the bow legs, that's Diane. Mr. Kennedy ordered these rats. I've been down to his office for the past five days, and I can't find him. I'll take them. Uh-uh. Down with what to do. You can select at his office. Well, nothing could be fairer than that. <laughs> Good night. Good, Good night. night. Looks like rain. Rats, just what we need. That's a busy evening. Good evening. Mrs. Farley, I believe you know more about Mr. Kennedy's disappearance than you've told us. Really, Mr. Tinker? Really. In fact, I think he's a prisoner in this house. Maybe you're right. Would you like to see your candidate, Mr. Tinker? I certainly would. Uh, will you gentlemen just hang your hats up, please? Put those rats in the closet. <laughs> Step right in, gentlemen. Won't you be seated? Thank you. Mr. Kennedy will be right out. No, 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 no. Help! Help! Somebody help! 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 Help!
Help me! Help me! Help me! Help! Take them out! Let him help! Help! Get him out of here! Help! 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 Oh. I told you our candidate never wins. Have you anything to say, Mrs. Farley? Fellow citizens, I stand before you with the forced realization of the grave responsibility that has been placed upon my shoulders. <laughs>